What's happening everyone? Paul here. I'm um, just out and about with Michael out in the tracks in the local bushlands. Just uh, trying to spot some native wildlife with the Basca Lucid View 10x25 monocular. I'll be uh, taking you through this monocular. I'm not a professional when it comes to explaining optics or anything like that. I'm sort of getting into it myself in the realm of binoculars and monoculars. But I'll try and explain the best way I can to give you more of an awareness of what this particular setup is. So if I say anything that might not be right, please leave us some comments and um, I'll get back to you. Now for the specs of the Lucid View by Basker. Okay, the magnification is 10 times. So basically enlarges the object in appearance but not the actual physical size, just for those out there that aren't aware what the magnification means. The objective lens right here is 25 mil. So basically the lens, lens gathers the light coming in from the observed object and then you and focuses the rays emitting to produce the real image. Okay, the prism type which is inside is a roof prism type. So the optical prism basically is a kind of reflective prism containing a, a section where two faces will meet at a 90 degree angle and then will give you your image when you're looking through. <clears throat> the prism glass is of BK7, which is inside. and But the downfall to this design that I've uh, researched and noticed and I've noticed when I'm looking through the lens is that there's a bit of a haze or you know on the exit pupil when you're looking through like there's a shaded edge on the outside but um, basically that's more when it's later in the afternoon but in broad daylight it's fine it's mainly when it's like more you know when heading towards down to like you know darkness you'll start seeing this shaded edge that's because it's, it's the type of prism that it has but apart from that it's quite clear Next is the obviously the exit pupil as I was explaining before, which is right here is uh, 2.5 mil, and then the optical coating is um, fully coated. So basically, it's one thin anti-reflective coating on both sides of the objective lens system, and it helps minimise the loss of light entering objective lens when it you know, when you focus in on an object. The focus system is obviously in the, on the eyepiece, so you can adjust the focus there, which is quite good. The field of view will be 288 feet at 1,000 yards, or 96 meters, as it says on the base here, at 1,000 meters. And our close focus is 26 feet or 8 meters. Also comes with a case, which has a little belt loop holder here and also it has like a hand or neck lanyard <clears throat> the features of this is a, like a rubberized grip it's very grippy so it's good when it, you're in moisture conditions wet conditions and um, the, the eyepiece here has got a nice round like rubbery eyepiece here and um, it comes with a limited limited sorry lifetime warranty but only for residents of the U United States and Canada unfortunately for areas like where I live in Australia it doesn't come with that warranty but I mean at a budget cost in Australian a $30 monocular the reason why I bought this is for that reason it's, it's a budget price monocular it does the job and um, if I break it or lose it I'm not going to get too upset basically I think in the States the uh, price range for you guys over in the states are between 10 to 20 roughly I've seen them on average around the $15 United States dollar mark also I'd like to add not only the what I mentioned but also I love the fact that it's awesome little everyday carry like I stow this in my pocket when I have to like days out like this when I'm uh, spotting nature you know kangaroos you know koalas if we can find one <laughs> but like uh, kookaburras usually kookaburras and kangaroos out here and um, basically yeah you put it in rucksacks backpacks you know day bags and even purses females are, you know that are, would like to have monoculars that are like everyday carry small enough like this size 
and uh, it's very lightweight. I think it's 3.5 ounces. So I, don't, I can't remember what that is in grams, but you guys can work that out or research that more. So that concludes the Table Rock review on the Basker Lucidview 10x25 monocular. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. Now I'm going to go back to viewing the native wildlife.